BGFM, locals talking to locals. And we say good morning to Peter Edwards, who's just rushed in to give us a film review from Shoreline Film Review, uh, Shoreline Cinema. How are you, Peter? I'm pretty good, thanks, Nigel. Yourself? Oh, yeah, top of the world. Now, what's the film you saw this week? I saw The Party. Ah, The Party. The Party. What's it about? Uh, well, it's a British film, it's a black comedy, and it's written and directed by a lady named Sally Potter. Um, the party hosts are Janet and her husband Bill. Janet is played by Kristen Scott Thomas and Bill by Timothy Small. Now, the party is a, a, cele- a celebration, if you like, of, of Janet's ascendancy um, in the political sphere. She is an opposition member of parliament and she's just been promoted, inverted commas, to the uh, mini- or the what, what do they call him? The Shadow Minister of Health. Um, Bill, we learn, is an academic who has uh, given up his career because uh, in order to follow um, Janet's, uh, or to allow Janet to follow her political aspirations. Um, now, three other couples have been invited to join this celebration, and they're a right motley crew, as it turns <laughs> out. Um, yeah. But what we see is Bill... Um, Right from the outset, he sits in his lounge, he sits in a chair facing the window, putting on vinyl records, yes. listening to his music, drinking wine, and just staring into space. And it's quite clear he's got something on his mind, and we learn about it a bit later on. But then the visitors start to turn up. Um, first of all, there's April and her estranged German partner, Gottfried. He's a life coach and a self proclaimed sort of spiritual healer. Right. Um, then there's this lesbian couple, Martha, who's another professor, just as Bill was, and, and Ginny, who's a celebrated chef. Finally, um, the next uh, set of couples are Janet's political colleague, Marianne, and, and her husband, her banker husband, Tom. We never actually get to see Marianne, but she very strongly and seriously influences the last part of the film in a number of rather unexpected ways. Um, As the film progresses, April, she continually sort of bashes and belittles Gottfried. Tom, who has a ride without Marianne, he keeps nipping in and out of the uh, bathroom and snorts cocaine, and he's packing a gun in a shoulder holster, and that sort of comes up later. Um, we learn that Ginny, who's part of the lesbian couple, is actually pregnant with triplets. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. I know. And then Bill, who all this time has been staring into space, suddenly yes. announces that he's terminally ill. Oh, <laughs> it's got it all. <laughs> oh, it has. Yeah. Um, now, what Janet does, she says she's going to resign her parliamentary position in order to look after Bill. <laughs> and after all this, the party totally disintegrates into a whole series of connected infidelities and they come to light as, as, as the film progresses we learn that A, I'll call it A has an aff- or had had an affair with B yes. who is having an affair with C, C. and <laughs> oh C God. is actually having a, a second affair with D <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and the film ends with Janet who's the hostess of the yes. party actually answering the door pointing this gun at the caller and shouting, you told me you love me, me, you traitor. <laughs> and, and that's it, the film ends with, right. on that. Yes. It's quite a short film yes. by, by, by normal standards, only about one hour ten. Right. Um, Humorous. But it was it. highly entertaining, yes. and it was packed right. at the uh, at cinema yesterday. Good. I was lucky to find a, find a seat. Yeah. Oh, that um, sounds great. But everyone enjoyed it, and it was quite clear listening to the last and, and, uh, going on around me that they did so. And what I did like particularly about it, it, it was the script was punctuated by pauses, pregnant pauses, and everyone was anticipating what was coming next. And there were giggles and sniggers all around the cinema, yes. and it was a thoroughly enjoyable film. 106.3 BGFM.